Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me. And for this week's spread, I decided to use this kit from Regina Laughs, my girl Reggie. And um, this kit was called Winter Solstice. I used it in my Erin Condren and I believe actually the week like before I planned it in this one or maybe it was the week after. But anyways, um, I also had a couple extra sheets like that um, matched. Uh, she actually created like a monthly ja or a January monthly kit for both her and I. Like it wasn't available in her shop or anything, but she made it for the two of us. Um, and so I had a couple stickers that were like left. And so I think I pulled in maybe um, a couple icons from that. Um, and that was really nice to have just a couple extra things, but honestly, even without it, I had so much stuff left over. Her kits are awesome. Um, I did get the glitter header add on and I did use it. If you saw that it was one of the first few things and I love her kits. I love her paper. Um, she is one of my, um, like she is my planner, best friend <laughs> or my planner, bestie, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, so if you guys haven't checked out her shop, you totally should. Um, but anyways, I started this week off by whiting out the sidebar and then I pulled in one of these, um, my newest addiction ombre, nope, these are not ombre, these are just like a heart checklist and, um, I like put some washi around it as well as a to-do header on top of it. Um, Regina's kits only come with one ombre heart checklist unless you get the ombre heart checklist add-on sheet. Um, and one weekly box and two habit trackers and I used all of those when I used the kit for the first time. Um, so I didn't have anything like extra for the sidebar other than the washi and the to-do header that I pulled in, but it was totally fine. I had this checklist and I honestly like, I think it looks perfectly fine. It's also like watercolor-y just like the, um, like art in this kit and so I thought it looked really nice. Um, and then I did have like a lot of the glitter header colors left over so because I pulled in some different ones um, Like I think I pulled in some foiled ones and then like the glitter ones that are like real textured um, When I used it the first time then I only used one of the glitter header colors in the spread So I had three left over um, and so I pulled in this dark blue one just because I thought um, It would be like the one that I had like least stickers to pull in of. <laughs> so I thought that would be um, the one that like kind of made most sense. Um, and I actually already ended up using the other two uh, glitter header colors in the next plan with me that you guys will see. I already filmed it um, and that one should go up on Sunday. Uh, that's kind of like a busy day for me. It's both my brother and my boyfriend's birthdays that day. So I'm going to try really hard to um, get things done ahead of time, but I have a really busy weekend. Like Friday, I have a final exam and then Saturday is my brother's birthday party and then Sunday it's Yanni's or my boyfriend. So it's <laughs> it's gonna be a lot, but I'll do my best to get my plan with me up. Maybe I can record the voiceover and edit it. I don't know, sometime Saturday morning, Sunday morning? <laughs> we'll see, but I'll try to get it up. But anyways, and then I went ahead and grabbed these glitter header overlays that I made for myself. I had some of these left over from when I did the, um, like the challenge, the some white space challenge. Um, and so I just used like seven of them. Then there were three left. And the reason that there were only three left is because, um, like I said, I used it for the white space challenge. So it wasn't like I was using like perfectly seven, uh, wherever. And then once I went ahead and put those down, I used a foiled weekend banner, I believe, when I used this kit for the first time. So I had the weekend banner um, in this kit and I thought it was really cute and I wanted to use it anyways. I keep putting these weekend banners down crookedly. So I did my best to fix it up at the end, but you know, it wasn't perfect, but I thought it, it wasn't too noticeable. Uh, and then I went ahead and grabbed these date dots and put them down. Um, these are super cute and they are foiled and they are from my shop. I actually put up a poll a few days ago about whether I wanted to change the font of these date dots. So I'll probably be, probably be doing that in the near future to the font that's like in my kits. If you guys are, you know, like if you guys are um, like shoppers of my shop, <laughs> if you guys shop my shop. <laughs> Uh, then you might know what I'm talking about and it'll just be in that font, but also foiled. Um, I just feel like a lot of date covers now are very dainty and so I feel like this like thicker text, although I really like it and I'll probably continue to use it for a while um, since I have like a ton of them left and I don't know, I like it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'll be changing it out for you guys and also it'll be the same font as the foiled ones in my monthly kits, which I've been loving my monthly kits so much. If you guys haven't seen those, they are available in my shop. I believe the April one is still up in the shop. 
Um, and then the May one will be coming. I'm going to try to get it up for this weekend. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a May monthly or an April monthly, um, you're more than welcome to check those out. <laughs> uh, anyway, so on to Monday, I used the coffee cup sticker that came from her sampler sheet sampler sheet <laughs> and then I grabbed the foiled coffee Monday script that's from my shop and then I was also participating in a loop giveaway this day so I used like two of the um, patterned like headers and I just kind of stacked them to make it like a label and then I grabbed the alarm clock sticker that's also from the sampler sheet that you see right there um, and that's what I wrote beside it and this day I also got 5,000 uh, followers on Instagram so thank you guys so much for that that's amazing um, I really appreciate it <laughs> and I love you guys. I love this community and yeah, so I used um, a balloon Ava for that, which is also from my shop. And then at the end of the day, I was just reading. So I used a bow label that's from her kit and I was still reading. They both die at the end, which was really good. I actually really liked that book. Um, so check it out if you're looking for something. It's like a young adult book. I actually went to the bookstore to try to look for it and I was like looking for it and I couldn't find it. And then I asked like an employee and he's like, oh, let me check back. For, like, let me check for you. And he comes back and he's like, it's in the teen section or something like that. I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> all right <laughs> he was judging me but that's okay we'll let him um but tuesday i used this payday sticker that's also from my shop um you can find it in like the script section um which is the same spot you can find the coffee monday ones and it's also foiled and i just put that on top of some washi strips from the kit uh, and then I had like a big lab report due this day, so I used a paper clip uh, from the kit to mark that down. And then afterwards, uh, I asked my TA if I could leave my lab early so I can go to dinner with some of my friends. It was a really chill like lab. There was not much to do, so she said it was okay. So um, I left early and went downtown to have some dinner with my friends Sarah and Tio. And so I used a bow half box to mark that down. And then afterwards, um, I think I mentioned this in my last plan with me, but my friend really wanted to buy some books, which, spoiler, oh, spoiler alert, she didn't end up doing. But we did walk all the way to Eaton Center, which is like a big mall downtown here, um, and went to Indigo. And to mark that, I used um, another one of the icons that was on the sampler sheet, and I thought that was really cute. And then on Wednesday... Um, I went to the mall with Yanni this day, so I used this shopping Ava to mark that down. Um, and then afterwards we decided to grab some dinner, so I used a half box with like the couple Ava sticker, again from my shop. And then I used this house icon underneath to mark down that Yanni came over afterwards, and that was from the kit. And then at the beginning of the day, I also used this like clipboard checklist kind of sticker. I had to meet up with my lab partner to work on like a poster presentation that we had the following day. So I marked that down at the beginning of the day. And then honestly, like beside like my classes, I don't ever mark those. So that's why you see like the whole evening plans like take up a majority of the day because I don't really mark down my classes in here unless something like significant is happening. Like I have a midterm or something big is due, um, but generally I don't really mark it. Um, and then on Thursday, I was actually baking with my mom. We baked strawberry shortcake and it turned out really great. Took forever to make, but turned out really, really good. I also pulled in some of these labels that are going to be coming to my shop. They are available right now on just like white paper with like a white background, but they will be coming with like a variety of different colors like pink, purple, or like lavender, gray, um maybe blue I think and white I think it's just those five there um and so I mark I used that to mark down going on a walk with my parents and I also grabbed this bow circle icon that was from the monthly kit so that those are like not available in her shop or anything but um it was super cute and then I had a plan with me go up this day so I used this foiled YouTube sticker and then like I mentioned I had a like big poster like project due this day with my lab partner so I used this paper clip with a bow um, from the sampler to mark that down. And then on Friday, uh, I talked about this in my previous plan with me too, but I had a really fun day with some of my friends. Um, we ended the day with um, be going to one of my uh, friend's houses. We had some drinks and had some cake, and so I ended up marking all those things down. I used the bow um, half box as well as this heart sticker, which is really cute, and that was also from her monthly uh, kit. And I used that to mark down like going to my actual friend's house. Um, and then I wrote uh, before that that we had some bibimbap. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Gosh, 
Uh, we had that for lunch and it was so good. If, it, if you guys don't know what it is, it's, um, from what I understand, it's just like fried rice with a bunch of like fried veggies. And a lot of the time I see it with like a fried egg on top. Um, but I didn't have egg on top, but it was still really good. Um, and then we had like this Japanese cheesecake. I believe it's Japanese. Um, and it's like this place that's called Uncle Tetsu's. I don't know if it's like a Toronto thing or like it's everywhere. I literally have no idea, but it was really good. And then before I started hanging out with my friends that day, I did film a plan with me. So I used this camera icon that's from my shop and the cake sticker is also from my shop, I should mention. Um, and I used that to mark that down. And then Saturday, I did a ton of cleaning in the morning, so I used a flag from the kit as well as a cleaning bottle from my shop to mark down cleaning day. And then I used a reading Ava to mark down that I just did a ton of reading in bed because I really wanted to get through my book because it was good and I just wanted to know what was happening. <laughs> Um, and then in the evening, Yanni and I went to go see Us, uh, the movie, and it was so scary, you guys. I don't know. I talked to a few other people and they were like, uh, it wasn't that scary, but Yanni and I were scared the entire time. <laughs> um, and then on to Sunday at the bottom of the day, Yanni came over, so I used a TV icon from that sample sampler sheet. And then I used another one of the heart icons that was from the monthly kit. Um, and I just used that to mark down him coming over. And then I used uh, Regina's like cornered off um, quarter boxes with the bow to mark down that my mom and I went to the mall. We also did some makeup shopping in the morning. Uh, we went to like this really fun warehouse sale and bought a ton of makeup and like skincare stuff. So that was really fun. And I used um, the icon from the kit to mark that down. And then we also went to Tim Hortons because of course we are Canadian. Um, and I used a coffee cup from the sampler sheet to mark the Tim Hortons run. And then I went ahead and popped everything back into my planner. I love this planner. Love the pink. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about pink. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys the wiggle because I think it looks so pretty and there's just so much foil. Oh, don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> but I guess I'm zooming you guys out. And then, ha! So pretty. But I hope you guys liked this plan with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!